How long can a lucid dream last? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffero. It's me Matt here and today I'm answering the question, how long can a lucid dream actually last? So this is a good question and I think the answer can be a bit confusing for a lot of people because you hear all these different stories about how long a lucid dream is supposed to last. First of all, you hear about these studies, for example, where someone takes someone who's in a dream and gets them to measure time against someone measuring time in the real world and then you find that in fact time was a one-to-one -one ratio. You know, someone was counting a second in a dream and someone was counting a second in the real world and the times just seemed to match up basically, which would suggest that a dream is the same length as in the real world. And yet you have these people that say, you know, they've spent a year in a dream or, you know, they've spent months or weeks in a dream or whatever. And while these situations are extremely rare, there are cases where people have these dreams that do feel like they're lasting super, 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 super long. Now, in most cases, super, super long is just going to feel like, you know, a few hours or a day or something like that. But there are people who report that it's been much longer. So what does this mean? Can you stay in a lucid dream for a year? Can you get trapped in a lucid dream forever? That's something that I hear a lot of people worried about. No, you can't for both of those. You can't stay in a lucid dream for a year, you can't get trapped in a lucid dream or anything like that. But a lucid dream can feel like it lasts a long time, but it's just not as long as you think. A lucid dream is in fact limited by the length of your REM or rapid eye movement cycle in sleep. Basically you need to be in that cycle to actually be able to have a lucid dream and so when that cycle ends you wake up. Now that REM period or REM cycle typically lasts between you know 50 and 90 minutes depending on the actual period and depending on your individual you know sleep cycles because everyone is a bit different so you might have longer REM periods or you might have really really short ones and you're basically going to be limited by the length of your REM period but also you're going to be more limited by the length of the dream itself because actually getting a dream to last all the way from the start of an REM period all the way to the end is very very unlikely to happen and very very difficult typically because typically even if you have a relatively long lucid dream it's more like 20 to 30 minutes rather than you know an hour or longer because it just kind of ends after some time even if you do keep it stable there's just a point where it just kind of ends and you can get it to go longer than that but usually it doesn't and then there's going to be all of your early lucid dreams a lot of your early lucid dreams are unfortunately going to be very short and that is just because you're not familiar with the state yet, you get really excited and you wake yourself up. So don't be concerned if you have crazy short lucid dreams. You're going to learn how to control them better, how to keep them stable. And after some time and some practice, you're going to have longer ones. Just get used to being familiar with the state and experiencing a lucid dream before you worry about trying to make them longer. So what about these dreams that feel like they last longer? Now most of these dreams, it's just going to be slight, you know, you're going to spend 20 minutes in a lucid dream and it's going to feel like you were there for a couple of hours and you did all sorts of things. How is this possible? Well basically there is a thing known as time dilation and that is where you experience time as if it was going slower. It feels like more time is passing even though it actually isn't. And this often happens when you're doing a lot of things in a short period of time. You know, if you have a ton of work to get done and you get all of it done in just a short period of time it's going to feel like a lot more time has passed because you did so much you can think I did this I did that I did that as well and I also did this and I also did that and after you've listed off all the things you did it just seems like an enormous amount so the fact that you only needed you know a few hours to get it done it feels like you actually spent more than a few hours it's the same in a lucid dream you know you can fly around the world go to different planets you know go on all sorts of adventures in a 20 minute dream but because you've done all of these things it feels like you must have been there longer than 20 minutes to be able to do all of these things. Time dilation can also happen in altered states of consciousness, in meditation, under the influence of certain substances or in a dream. So it does happen that sometimes it feels like time is passing slower and that's something that you shouldn't really overly concern yourself with. I hear a lot of people asking if you can slow time down in a lucid dream and the thing is if you're actually thinking about the time then you're not going to be able to slow it down. It's going to proceed at a normal rate. It's more when you're distracted and when you're not focusing on how much time is passing and you're focusing more on doing all sorts of different things that you're going to be able to get a lot done and it's going to feel like you had a really long dream. So in summary, a lucid dream is typically going to be you know, up to about 20 to 30 minutes long, but it can be a bit longer, like 60 to 90 minutes. Now there are some rare exceptions to this and this is if someone has a really long REM period or potentially if someone were able to modify their REM periods in a certain way. 
Now I've heard that certain supplements can actually extend your REM periods, which would mean that you could have longer dreams. I don't know how true or not that is, but if that is true, then you could potentially have one that's, you know, two or three hours instead of, you know, an hour to 90 minutes. But the fact is that most of your dreams will still end in 20 to 30 minutes. So you would more likely just have several long dreams rather than one that was less than two to three hours, even if that was the case. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, remember to subscribe over there for more and check out my other videos. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. I also have some free content on there, uh, blog posts I make on there. So even if you don't want to support, then check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.